mathematicians. Today we are going to work on multiplication with threes facts. We are going to use our knowledge of our twos and ones to help us with threes facts that we may not know yet. Why would we use twos and ones to help us with threes? Well, yes, you're right. Two plus one is three. But also because we know our twos and our ones. Let's use what we know to get to what we don't know. We're going to start off with our graph paper again. Think about the area model to help us visualize our threes facts. I'm going to draw a rectangle three by four because I'm solving three times four. And in that model, I don't know three times four, but what do I know? Well, I know two times four and I know one times four. So I can label this here a two by four and a one by four. And then I can solve two by four, two times four is eight and one times four is four. Now what do I do with those two products? I'm going to add them together to find the total. Eight plus four equals twelve. So three times four equals twelve. All right, how did that example go? Let's try another one. Get out your graph paper and your pencils or markers and work along with me. Let's solve um, three times six. Draw an area rectangle three by six. I don't know three times six quite yet. What do I know? Well, I know two times six and I know one times six. So I'll draw my line. That's a two by six. And this here is a one by six. What's two times six? Let's double six. Twelve. That's one times six. Six. Now I'll add those two products together to find the total of that area. Twelve plus six equals eighteen. Three times six is eighteen. Let's try another one. Try three times seven. Draw a three by seven rectangle on your graph paper. We're solving three times seven. Don't know three times seven just yet, but what do I know? I know two times seven and one times seven. Two times seven is 14 and one times seven is seven. Now we're gonna add those together, 14 plus seven. Might be a little tricky. That's okay. I think of it as a 10 and a four. Four plus seven equals 11. Then 10 plus 11 equals the 21. Three times seven is 21. Some good math going on there. All right, mathematicians, here's our strategy for threes. We can think of it as a two plus one, and we'll double and add one more set. Keep working on your graph paper, draw those area models, and I'll see you next time. Bye.